guys, welcome back to Bows and Bullets. Just have to plug my microphone back in. Um, as you can see, a lot is different. I'm gonna go over what has changed so far. Um, so I, I went ahead and I moved the tran I moved the transmission, the brake, and uh, the trolley lever, just a little bit, just to keep it a little bit easier for me. Um, let me actually shift G. Okay, so as you can see, I upgraded this to the second tier. Oh, actually, I can't remember. I might have actually had that before, but I don't remember. Um, and I got a second boat. Second boat. <laughs> this isn't raft, although it's really similar. It's second wagon. Um, I'm probably like another seven depots in, just as a reference to how far I've gone. Um, got some bullets got a gun, and I also got the grappling hook. And so, the grappling hook actually doesn't allow me to move around the environment. Instead, what it does is it allows me to grab the floating objects that are around. I'm not going to spend a lot of time just playing the game right here. I'm actually going to do a time lapse in a few seconds, or in a few minutes, because I wanted to show you guys the next project I'm going to be working on. So a little update on what I have here. Of course, research table. This thing is definitely new. This is the driller. And what this does is there are super rare, like, large clumps of coal and ice that you can find floating around. And if you put it in here, you can get, like, five coal. And five coal is, like, the equivalent to ten fuel. Uh, besides that, that's a majority of what I've been doing. Been unlocking research. I just unlocked... just unlocked, or no, I'm just gonna unlock sheathing one, and I'm just gonna keep going through the levels, and this is gonna be a time lapse, so, and some of the levels do change colors, and I may stop the time lapse to show you guys something, but I doubt it, so, without further ado, let's get going.
okay guys, welcome out of the time lapse. Um, as you can see, oh, by the way, I'm very sorry if you guys can hear the air conditioner. It is very hot here in Michigan. Um, but as you can see, I got, I got the back cab on. As you saw in the time lapse, I had walls, but the ceiling is not a particularly separated thing, so I actually had to use wagon parts, or as the, they're called wagon parts in the construction menu. But I got the wagon, um, the rear wagon, and I've got the stage set for the steam engine, which will go in these three slots. I've been told it's three slots. And right here, I got the cabin. Now there was an option to choose the the cabin with a roof and the cabin with roof and windows, like this first part of the wagon is. But I chose open so that I can actually look out, shoot, and uh, I can't jump over this, but just so that I can see the resources as they pass by. Um, I moved around these, so they're over here. I've probably only been, actually you can probably tell by the time last, but I've probably only been to like two or three depots so far, so been pretty productive. So I've got all this on, and I'm going to call it here guys, oh, get some more ice in there. Now, hopefully I'll remember to slow down the time lapse whenever I found the coal in the ice just so you guys can see that because that was something kind of new. And the little disc that I was disarming, they were actually mines. And if you're going fast enough, you'll activate them and they'll explode or whatever. Unlike the other ones, they just automatically activate. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode. And next episode, I will be getting the steam engine. I'll be putting on the railing and Prince will be here with me when I do it. So stay tuned for that. And the next one will not be a time lapse. So yeah.